Hello, this is Greg Allison from Green Greg's Garden and Worm Farm. I want to show you how to tie up your tomatoes when you really want a little too long and you should have had them tied up a little earlier when they're a little more difficult to deal with, when they get a little bigger. There's a point of no return. <laughs> There's a point where you're going to do more damage. But you got to get them off the ground if you can. And these are really close to the point of no return. But if you handle them gently, there's ways to tie them up. And I'm going to show you how to do this. Also, hey, by the way, did you realize that radish seeds are edible? Look at these nice little radish seeds here. I had somebody walked on those. <laughs> that hadn't been walked on, though. Radish seeds. Look at that. I'm going to have to show you how to do this. See, this is my trellis. It's, you know, there's more than one way to trellis tomatoes. Uh, I have run them pretty good on cow panel. But the thing is, is how you tie them up. What you, what you eliminate when you do a tomato plant. The, the objective is to grow tomatoes, not leaves. So we got to trim a lot of these leaves off. Sometimes, you know, I'll leave this twine up here. It's usually good for two years. Sometimes it breaks off a little bit on the end, maybe get a little shorter than you want. Sometimes you want to add a little length to it. I'm going to show you a quick trick to add length to twine if you want to do that. So what you do to tie a, to tie a thieves hitch is you make a loop a good piece of rope you bring another rope up through it you come over around and back down the same hole this is called a thief's hitch I need to watch my rear end keep it out of the fire end found here <laughs> if, I do, don't, if I fail to do that I will notice it you might see me sing and dance or something. I might could do that for you anyway if you really desire. It's probably not the best thing in the world to do. Come in the tomato patch, the last thing. Now I've got radishes in here. Radishes are a crop you can co-grow with tomatoes. Now I'm trying to separate these out. They're tangled up a little bit. You don't want to bend your tomatoes too much. You don't want to mess with them really when they're too wet. The radishes are a little bit more expendable, so I don't mind bending them a little bit right now. They're past the prime season. So what I'm doing here, as I'm finding, I'm just going to gently lift this. I don't put any stress on it. Gently lifting it. I'm just finding a place along the stem where I can pick it up. And I'll make a hoop. And I'll make the hoop here really big so that I can, uh, it can have room to grow. And I'm just putting like a granny knot in it now, nothing fancy. The cool thing about baling twine is you can make all kinds of knots in it. Now see how open I got that? That gives it plenty of room to grow. What you do is you wrap your tomato vine around that. But what you want to do is also you want to remove suckers. Sucker is the leaves that grow between uh, a main leaf and a main stem. They will become a whole nother vine if you let them, but you don't want too many vines coming up here. You just want a vine per string. And I would guess that's probably, no, it's not the same plant. I'm trying to see where these go to. And I'm going to come back and trim the uh, leaves that are low. Hopefully that'll help it to grow. I'm just going to to tie a few more thieves hitches around here. That rope's a little bit short. Make sure the end is good where you want to tie it. Make a bend. I guess you made that a little longer. Come up through it. Around it. Back down the same hole. Okay, I got a knot tied on this one. You can see that's big enough to let the plant grow into it. And I'm looking for suckers to get rid of. And I don't really see them on this branch. That's odd. So I'm just going to kind of wind this thing around. There'll be some suckers up here somewhere. There'll be more readily available earlier. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come through here and trim off these leaves that are down here close to the ground. Because they all get disease in them. And you don't want disease in tomato plants. And you want to grow tomatoes, not leaves. So you got to find your leaves. And this is kind of missed. Kind of hard to see because I'm going to have to use my knife. You don't want to strip down. Sometimes they don't cut easy. 
see that one's getting some disease in it. So you want to cut all these low hanging leaves. Trim them down. Some of these are hiding here amongst my radishes. Anyway, so the philosophy is you come through these plants, you tie them up, you go through and you hunt off the main limb, any shoot coming up the side, that would be a sucker. And there's usually a sucker on most of them. The Find ones without suckers are kind of odd. And you take the suckers off and you just tie a little, you can tie a little knot. And sometimes you need new twine if you're reusing old twine just for the bottom end because it gets wet over, uh, over the year and will rot out at the very end. And then you just wrap it around. But do so very gently. Let me show you how to support my channel and get your heirloom seeds at the same time. Simply find one of my videos that has the, the links below. Some of my live sessions don't. So go down here, you can either go to my pinned comments and click more, or you can go up here to show more here. There's two ways. It's redundant. Show more or pin comments. Either way, you're going to find links to videos and various other things. But at the very top, what you're going to find, these things for supporting my channel, teamed up with True Leaf Market, and here's the link. You click the link to True Leaf Market. There it is. Here. Your non-GMO seed source since 1974. I look here what all you can get. You can get garden seeds, microgreen seeds, sprouting seeds, wheatgrass. You can get supplies to grow these things with. Everything you need. All kind of seeds, things that you need to get your garden going. Your microgreens, I show you how to grow stuff indoors, garden supplies. But truly, if market actually tells you how to grow your seeds. Look at these carrots here. Tastes a little scrumptious. They tell you where it grows and how to plant them. You can't beat that right here at True Leaf Market, an excellent source for your seeds. So please order, use the link, and support my channel. Thank you very much. Sucker that's really growing. The sucker will try to make its own vine. A sucker goes between the main leaf and the main vine. You always want to take the suckers out. And since that leaf is low, I'm going to take it out too, along with this leaf and sucker down here. See how these are getting disease in them? I'll toss them out here, I'll deal with them later. And it's always good to have alcohol with you when you're doing this. Make sure you got it open first. And, you, and wash your hands as you go. And wash your cutting tools as you go so you don't spread disease from plant to plant. Because those lower leaves, where they're on the ground, catch, up to catch disease that's in the dirt. And your objective is to keep the disease out of your tomato plant. That's one reason you don't want them hanging down and running on the ground and get diseased up and they die off fast. So the objective is to let it grow up this vine as much as possible. All right, here's a sucker. I'm just gonna cut it with a knife, actually. Sometimes the little ones are easier to pinch out. And that leaves a little bit low, but let's see. I got it under the tie, I'm gonna leave it for now. Let this thing grow a little bit. Here's a good sized tomato plant that I've just tied up in my loop. I used a thieves hitch here. And essentially you just wrap this tomato plant around. Gently wrap it around. it to be ever so gentle as you do this. Don't do anything that really bends the tomato plant at all. If you bend it, other than a very gentle thing, you're stressing it. You don't want to stress it. Now there's a leaf that's dead. I'm trimming leaves anyway. A lot of these leaves you can pinch off, and you got to get rid of the suckers. This one's coming out. Now, I'm going to show you how to do it with uh, both pinching and uh, like this little sucker down here. What's a sucker? We have a leaf growing out and something growing in the middle. That will form a vine. You don't want this. This one actually has some pretty substantial suckers on it. That's a sucker right there. You could pinch that off. That's getting a little bit large. I'm going to cut it off with scissors. Take these lower leaves off. And get the leaf and the sucker all in one fell soup this time. The object here is to grow tomatoes, not leaves. And leaves that are crusted to the ground are leaves that's going to pick up disease from the ground, from rain. So you want to get these off as quick as you can. Sometimes scissors are really good for this. Now this plant. It's got some major suckers going out. 
Hmm. May have just grown. There's a major sucker down here. Hmm. This is interesting. I may have actually taken a sucker and tied it up to the main tomato plant. That's what I just did. Ah, my goodness. Didn't realize that. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's what happens, a sucker will make a vine that's all right. And there's the main tomato. Hmm. I could cut this out. I might decide to keep it, but what am I going to tie it up with? That's a dilemma. Just this one is so big and manhandling it is a bit of a question. I uh, might have damaged it. I'm trying very carefully not to manage it. This uh, sucker, I'm going to leave it for right now. I'm just tied them both off up here together. And I'm trimmed already some leaves out of this and I'm going to take everything out that's close to the ground here because there's a sucker and a leaf I'm getting both in one cut there we go got a bunch of those leaves out now believe you me it should grow better if you get a lot of the uh, leaves out this one has got to be tied up too just kind of Put it in here and didn't really tie it up. I don't have strings over here in this spot. One problem you get is too many suckers, sometimes really large, big, major suckers when you let them go too long. So like I got two major ones tied up here together. Well, I have found a couple more down here. To rectify it, I'm going to throw a line over the top, just like I did with my greenhouse uh, shade cloth. And yeah, it won't be tied off like these. I did have one line for every plant, but it won't be tied off like those. But it's going to be tied to a plant on each side, so it'll have the same effect. Ah, I'm standing in the middle of fire ants are getting over me here. Yo, <laughs> hot dog. And these little suckers like this, you can just take out and your thumb like that. Then just wrap this thing around and around and around. You can do it with one hand. When you're done, it'll look like that right there. Now this one I had tied off over here on this guy. I cut it off and did a thief's knot here. I cut it off from here, did a thief's knot here. It's got its own independent string going up, and they're both going up that string just thrown over the top. I just basically killed this plant. The sucker was bigger than the main chute. So I cut the sucker off and tried to tie the main chute up and it broke. Since that was the lead, this plant's done. <laughs> Look at the sucker I took off. I mean, sometimes you have to make major sacrifices on these plants, but you know, I had the main shoot not broke. The main shoot wasn't as robust as the sucker. Maybe I should have went with a sucker that time. It would have been a vine. But the main tomatoes were actually on the main line. Oh well. Sometimes you lose a few. Learn a few, lose a few. That's why gardening is a practice. A lot of science. One of my biggest problems is I've got morning glories all intertwined in these tomatoes. Now, you got to be careful because if you start pulling on those vines, you'll tear up your tomato vine. So sometimes it's best just to go in and snip and pull out a little bit at a time. But you got to be able to tell your tomato vine from the morning glory vine. Look, they're all wrapped around each other too. So I can just go through and selectively snip some of these things and pull them out. But i got to do so gently. And I'll work on them there. Look at that. i got a mess here. It's going to take a while to get all that out. And look down here. So I got to work out these vines for what goes to what and get off the, some of the suckers. I got vines all the way out to here. I got to get them off and get them back to the center where I can tie them up. And I got to get all that morning glory out. Fortunately, that's been weeded some down that way. You can see I'm making progress. The morning glory is as best to snip as you go so that you can get the stuff out of here without uh, getting on your tomato plant or, or pulling your tomato plant. You don't want to cut or pull too hard on your tomato plant because they'll rip up the leaves and everything else so you just go in and snip out these little guys where we can isolate them and that will help you get this stuff out of here a lot easier just take them out pieces about piece parts because you don't want to get everything all wrapped around and be pulling cords through your tomato plant because that'll mess everything up I can't do all this one handed I'm just trying to give you an idea for what to do so you got to be careful there, that's on that leaf there. So I'll come back and I'll snip that again. And it's just, I just got to work it here. I get all this out of here. You see I'm already snipping and working it. This area was covered with a big thick mass of intertangled, intertwined morning glories. 
I couldn't tell what I had down here in terms of tomato vines. Well, you wouldn't know what was a, a runner, what was a actual tomato vine. So uh, I've come in here and got all that stuff out. I've managed to trim off a lot of little shoots there that were coming out. Anyway, so now I think I'm ready to, to lift these up. But you know, it was just a total mess here. I couldn't see what I was doing. But that's what's important, and that's why you got to get this stuff early when you can. Just tied in with a thieves knot here, square knot there, big open loop, and there's a giant sucker here. It's got to come off. It's a big giant sucker. You get too many suckers, you know, it'll grow tomatoes, but you get too many of them, you get, don't have enough breathing space with the tomatoes in there. The grass still put out of here. And, you know, I'm trying to grow tomatoes, not, not leaves. Trim them up real good, and that's got a little disease in it. It's been on the ground. There you go. See this? I'll show me something more later. Got it kind of wrapped around. I don't wrap it too much, it might break it. I just broke one over here. I broke the leader off, so that's not going to grow. You see it? And I broke the leader off. It will not grow. It's done. That's unlucky enough. Maybe that sucker will be the next leader. I'll leave that sucker. Maybe it'll survive. <laughs> well, it shouldn't be getting dark for about an hour and a half, but it's already looking pretty dark here. So I'm gonna show you the rest of these tomatoes. All right, this, is, this was a big patch of uh, morning glories here. There's still some little small weeds down here. I still need to go and trim a couple of little weeds, leaves out of here on the bottom. Like that, and that sucker there. You don't want leaves touching the ground on the tomatoes. I don't know what's going on with that. It's probably a sucker. I'll come back and deal with it later. Any leaves that's looking kind of diseased I need to come out. I'm going to wash my scissors and hands a lot with alcohol. And I've gone through most of this bottle here. It's almost empty. A little pocket size bottle. Easy to carry around out here. So this was all real heavy morning glories. And I got them out and I got these plants tied up. And I got them trellised up. They will climb these trellis, trellis ropes real fast. They'll make a lot of tomatoes if everything goes well here. Look at all the tomatoes I got hanging on the ground now. They were all supposed to be cherry tomatoes. Hmm. <laughs> so that's what I've done. Some of them are hanging out. You can see a little bit over the logs here. The reason I didn't pull them all the way over is I didn't want to stress them too much. You got to be so careful to quit, keep from breaking these tomato plants. So these are hanging out some. And they just have to be that way. You can see a lot of them got a curve on them. As they were growing out here in the middle. And I was trying to get them up and get them off the ground here. See the lightning? <laughs> yeah, we got storms out there. Yeah. Probably time to be heading back in. Anyway. <laughs> So this is Greg Allison, Green Greg's Garden and Worm Farm again. Please subscribe to my channel, support my channel by clicking the links below to True Leaf Market for your own seeds. Uh, PrepWithGreg.com uh, for prepping supplies, $100 off a two, uh, four week food supply. Uh, and like I said, subscribe to my channel, uh, click the update notification bell and click all. Anyway, thank you for watching.